There is growing concern as violent crime continues to rise across the area and the modifications criminals are making to firearms to essentially turn them into machine guns. Now the feds are helping local police get those guns off our streets. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker is live in Third Ward with a closer look at the growing concern. Brandon. Hey Keith, the ATF sounding the alarm on an issue Houston police know all too well. Three Houston police officers shot here on McGowan Street in January, and the man charged accused of having one of those modified guns. He's accused of firing with the intent to kill. Roland Caballero in January shot three Houston police officers, it's alleged, and along with the state charges he faces. Ghost guns are illegally manufactured. The feds have charged him too, accusing Caballero of having a 3D printer and guns souped up with a Glock switch. He's not alone. Over the past month, area law enforcement have announced several arrests involving Glock switches, which can turn a handgun into a machine gun. Right Rifles too. Drops down into this area, and what it does, it overrides the safety mechanism. Earl Griffith is firearms enforcement officer for the ATF. And so typically a Glock pistol with extended mag, 33 rounder, you put one of these Glock switches on it, and it can fire those 33 rounds in like 1.4 seconds. This is a 3D printer. Griffith says 3D printers are everywhere, inexpensive and hot for printing switches. What's more, he says federal gun laws haven't kept up with technology. This green part, that's all 3D printing. We call it a Frankenstein gun because it's like three different types of guns into one. That's why it's Griffith's job to train law enforcement nationwide on what to spot from printers. The price point on this is about uh, $170. To the switches, that can be tough to tell if you're not in the know. So where's the source? Who's making these? Are you making them? Am I making them? So we try to find that source. We try to stop that source from making them. And that training here in the Houston area, Mr. Griffith tells us, begins tomorrow morning. Live in Third Ward, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.